Hi, good morning, everyone. My name is Juju. Comes from University Putra, Malaysia. So glad to have the opportunity to share my ideas of my research here. The title of my paper is "Do Urban Chinese Consumers Really Willing to Use Eco-Friendly Cutlery Provided by Catering Takeaway?" As we know, modern life makes more and more Chinese people would not like to spend more hours on cooking. It's easy to order food online or by smartphone. The data shows that numbers of Chinese catering takeaway customers increased from 209 million to 490 million percent time from 2015 to 2020. And the total income after the catering takeaway by Meituan.com was 38.1 billion yuan RMB in 2018, and this number rose to 54.8 billion RMB in 2019. China's takeaway industry consumed hundreds of million food boxes within one year, and it would take at least a few hundred years to degrade. Degrade the plastics which make these food boxes after use to induce the pollution from plastic and protect the environment. Chinese government issued a series of laws to to reduce the use of plastic product in detail and food takeaway industry. In 2020, the retail catering and takeaway companies must adjust and replace their package and cutlery with eco with eco friendly products. So at present, when the customers try to order the takeaways, sellers would provide eco friendly cutlery and charge customers. Otherwise, the customers can select the option do not need cutlery. Generally speaking, if the consumers need the cutlery, they need to pay for it or just use the tableware prepared by themselves. It seems that the consumers do not have a third option. We want to know if the customers would like to use the eco-friendly cutlery and pay for it while ordering the takeaway. We hope the research result would help the government and the society can target and guide a large number of consumers to accept this change more rationally. There is a popular opinion that the cost of eco-friendly products is high. That is why the sellers would charge the customers for the environmentally friendly cutlery. We did the literature review on eco-friendly cutlery, some sustainable alternative materials can be used as a material of cutlery, such as eric nant, cell leaves, coconut fibers, coconut shells, and the banana fibers, palm leaves, leaves. In China, Straws, which are what remains of the plant stems after green harvests, the long dry tubes are more and more popular to be used to manufacture eco-friendly products. We also researched on usage intention of eco-friendly cutlery customers. The researchers found the customers supported the policies of environmental protection and were willing to pay for the eco-friendly products, but not practice their idea in real life. The customer's awareness of eco-friendly products is not as high as we imagined before. The scholars try to explain the reason which is consumers are currently uninterested in environmental attributes and are not actively engaged in buying and supporting environmental friendly products or processes. And also, there are some studies showed that perceived effects are positively associated with attitudes and consumer behavior towards environmentally friendly products. Attitudes towards the Consumption of environmentally friendly products mediated 
mediate between the perceived effects and the consumption behavior of environmentally friendly products. And the social modeling also would influence customers to choose eco-friendly category. In order to research the problem deeply, adopted the theory of planned behavior, which is a psychology theory that links beliefs to behavior. Since it is a matured theory, and the behavioral intention is the most proximal determinant of human social behavior. Based on that TPB model, we added a new variable and named it paid use, which means the customers have to pay for the category while ordering a takeaway and need category. Combined with works of literal and studies, we listed 10 hypotheses. There was attitude, subjective norm, and perceived behavioral control have a positive effect on takeaway consumers' usage intention, and paid use has a negative effect on takeaway consumers' usage intention. We designed the questions many based on the pieces of literature and findings. The question items were based on a five-point lecture scale and connected data by using the questionnaire start system. The questionnaires was pre-tested and uh, revised before being distributed, distributed in large numbers. To make the data source broad and objective, the questionnaire was distributed to take away consumers in 57 large and medium-sized cities in 24 provinces of China, including Beijing, Shanghai, Guangzhou, Xi'an, Chengdu, Chongqing, and online questionnaires were distributed and collected a total of 685 or a total. And after eliminating invalid questionnaires such as incomplete and invalid answers with high repetition rate, use SPSS 25 to remove extreme data samples. 555 valid questionnaires were finally obtained with a valid questionnaire rate of 81.4%. This table is a descriptive statistic analysis of the sample population. And this one is variable and questions. We use SPSS to verify the reliability and the validity of the questionnaire. The overall reliability of the questionnaire was 0.889. The overall KMO statistic was 0.862. The KMO test statistic for each variable exceeded 0.65. The variance explained for each factor exceeded 60%. This shows that the questionnaire has a good contract validity. Then we input the data into AMOS to verify the model and get a result. As we can see, attitudes and subjective norm have a positive impact on consumers' usage intention there was also a significant relationship between the latent variables. Consumer attitudes towards eco-friendly category depend on consumers' attitudes towards the environmental and their perception of their experience with eco-friendly tableware. From the result of this study, Chinese takeaway consumers are more accepting of the concept of environmental protection and the eco-friendly category available on the market.
the positive effect of subjective norms on usage intention suggests that takeaway consumers do receive influence from people around them and the government's propaganda to be more receptive to using eco-friendly cutlery. Paid use of eco-friendly cutlery has a positive impact on consumers' usage intention, which identifies that the consumers can receive the reality which the cost of the environmental friendly cutlery is reasonable. From this model, perceived behavioral control has a negative effect on takeaway consumers' usage intention of environmental friendly cutlery. In this study, the variable of perceived behavioral control was tested by several questions testing customers' perception of eco friendly cutlery. It was hypothesized that consumers would be more likely to accept eco friendly cutlery when they had more knowledge of the materials and the knowledge of eco friendly cutlery. However, this study found that customers' knowledge and the judgment of the materials, advantages and disadvantages of eco-friendly cutlery, the recycling process and waste separation were generally lacking. As a plastic restriction order requires all the takeaway businesses to provide environmentally friendly cutlery to customers. This may lead to customers producing a distrust of the eco-friendly cutlery available on the market. In short, our research found government laws require businesses to use environmentally friendly cutlery to reduce the pressure to eliminate environmental pollution. But customer lack knowledge of the uh, production and uh, handling of environmental friendly cutlery leading to psychological resistance to the use process. Chinese takeaway businesses do not charge a high price for cutlery with some services, showing that most cutlery cost less than 5 yuan RMB, which has not led to significant customer resistance to pay use of environmentally friendly cutlery. This study also found that the low score on question PU3 in the questionnaire suggests that there are still customers who are not supportive of the requirement to pay for the environmentally friendly cutlery. This needs to be further researched in future work. That is all my presentation. Thank you very much for your listening.